Did you know that the term NSX in Honda NSX stands for New Sports Experimental? Well, it's one of the rarest vehicles on the road, but sadly, in 2022, production of the superior automobile ground to a halt, ending its almost decade-long life cycle. However, Japanese auto tuner Arta Mechanics, a company that develops custom modifications for vehicles, has decided to keep its legacy alive by proceeding to build a better, authenticated, and customized version of it. This upgraded version is called the Legavello. Arta, which is an acronym for Autobax Racing Team Aguri, has been involved in motorsport development for over 20 years. Unveiled at the Tokyo Auto Salon of 2022, the improved design offered by Arta Mechanics honors the car's original identity while providing an incredible boost to its existing value. So, from the history of the original model to its current upgrades, incredible powertrain, and updated interior, join us as we take a look at how Arta made this extremely rare vehicle even more spectacular. The second-generation Honda NSX is a two-seat all-wheel drive hybrid electric sports automobile that was designed and created in the United States. Acura is Honda's luxury brand division, so the Honda NSX is sold as the Acura NSX in countries such as North America, China, and Kuwait. Its final Type S variant was discontinued in November 2022, with only a limited 350 units ever made. The idea for the Honda NSX can be traced back to the 1984 Honda Pininfarina Experimental HPX, which was a rear-wheel drive sports car with a 3-liter V6 engine. When Honda agreed to work on the project, their goal was to provide reliability and a lower price point while matching and surpassing the performance of the then-available V8 Ferrari engine series. With a lot of developments and improvements, the HPX evolved to become the NSX, which stands for New Sports Car and Experimental. And the NSX became Honda's new flagship model when it first went on sale in Japan in 1990. Its run continued until 2005, and it served as inspiration for the second-generation Honda NSX, which began production in 2016. Thanks to the vehicle's long history of success, Arta Mechanics decided to present a limited-run version of the outgoing supercar, which they named the Legavello. The improvements were undoubtedly inspired by the achievements of the vehicle at the GT500 class of 2014 Super GT, where the NSX Concept GT earned a first pole position from Cayenne Real Racing. The Legavello looks exactly like a real race car from the Japanese Super GT series, which isn't surprising since the Arta engineering team has experience in racing the NSX in Super GT. It appears they brought in their extensive knowledge to design the Legavello to reduce its weight and improve its aerodynamics. At a glance, the Legavello's blacked-out NSX's shape can be said to be reminiscent of the function over form signature nature of the GT race cars. The sturdy and visually heavily built bodywork of the automobile was given a noticeable makeover into a slender, more elegant hypercar-looking design. The change offered a new hood design with reworked angular fenders, air vents, uniquely forged aluminum wheels, and carefully designed custom rear wings. The new rear end shows off a centrally positioned quad exhaust system, which is supposedly the sole modification to the vehicle's drivetrain. While this may be unusual for a customized supercar, it's a testament to the superiority of the second-generation NSX hybrid electric drivetrain. Therefore, Arta's redesign still features the second-generation NSX 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged six-cylinder gasoline electric hybrid engine. It has three electric motors, two of which are a component of the super-handling all-wheel-drive drivetrain with a combined output of 573 horsepower. The NSX Type S, which was the final model, had an output of 602 horsepower with a 9-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. At this capacity, the vehicle can reach top speeds of more than 300 kilometers an hour with ease, so it's unlikely the Legavello's eventual owners would be disappointed with its performance. However, some questions arose about the powertrain modification of the exhaust system to what can only be described as unusual and aggressive looking. But a clear explanation was provided by the translated Japanese press statement that despite its appearance, the noise level remains as repressed to the same level as the original one was, 
with its latchers adding no power or extra noise, and that the new pipes can rival the ones of other top vehicles, like the $2.5 million Pagani. Apart from the powertrain, the front bumper, front fenders, side skirts of the car, rear fenders, B-pillar, rear bumper, wing, roof, and even its fuel lid are all new. Even the amazing iconic flying buttress has been replaced with newly engineered air ducts. The wider fenders and larger front intakes with its increased air vents give the exotic automobile a new but definitely better appreciated look, which also means it allows it to direct airflow more efficiently. The one unsurprising change about this new model is the fact that it's encompassed with aluminum because the NSX became famous in the 90s for its all-aluminum monocoque body. At the time, no other automaker had yet to build a car manufactured primarily of aluminum, so it's completely understandable that even with this new model, Arta has continued with this signature build. However, it's truly astonishing how Arta Mechanics outdoes the already absurdly extensive use of aluminum in the car's build. Although their generous use of aluminum is quite advantageous, this is because aluminum has one-third of the specific gravity of iron, is extremely resistant to corrosion, and is definitely much easier to recycle. But despite all the powerful advantages it provides, it does have several drawbacks, some of which include a particularly high cost and proportionately higher technical requirements and necessities in the molding and welding of the vehicle. On the other plus side, with its aluminum bodywork, the Legavello is granted more speed and ease in its control and drive, not to mention the fact that with all the body panels now built with carbon fiber, the car likely weighs marginally less and should probably show a measurable difference in its driving dynamics. Of course, Arta had to redesign the interior of the car, including the cockpit. The sports seats with integrated headrests are covered in a leather slash Alcantara combination. Carbon fibers were also added to the dashboard and the center console. But coming from the Legavello's bonkers exterior redesign, you might feel a little underwhelmed and disappointed by the overall conventional-looking cabin redesign. While you do get a beautiful, well-treated, supple leather finish for the dashboard and heavy loads of aluminum effect trim pieces, it has a major turn-off which is the central infotainment display. The display looks like it was hijacked from a 10,000-pound hatchback, not a 160,000-pound supercar. And unfortunately, some of the buttons and switches on the automobile feel sort of low rent. In comparison to the gorgeous metal items you can see in the designs of cars like the Audi R8. Although it's not all bad news, one upside is that as a standard, you gain a digital driver's display, just like in that of the Audi R8s. Plus, the driver is granted a pair of cosseting seats with comfy, plush leather upholstery and lots of back support. And thankfully, a few additions of carbon fiber on the very thickly padded steering wheel gives you a steady reminder that you're not rolling in a Civic. Lastly, the eye-catching sweeping dashboard design and high center console make you feel sort of cocooned comfortably in the Legavello. The Arta's website lists the modifications at 25.3 million Japanese yen, which is approximately $222,500, or about 180,000 pounds. This price does not include the cost of an original donor NSX, which has a starting price of 156,000 US dollars, but in reality is much closer to $200,000. And of course, Arta Mechanics took up the legacy of the NSX's exclusivity by offering only five pieces of the performance astounding vehicle. Building the original Honda NSX was definitely a challenge in itself but Arta Mechanics has managed to achieve a feat that even the automakers themselves found impressive. This was evidenced by the approval of Keiichi Tsushia himself. Of course, being the chief advisor for this Arta Mechanics limited edition NSX, the Drift King's approval was pretty much a certainty, but that doesn't detract from the fantastic results. And as for the original NSX, Acura's vice president and brand officer John Ikeda stated in an interview that the second-generation NSX will be replaced by a next-generation vehicle. He added that Honda creates an NSX whenever they have a statement to make. Thus, judging from the fact that the first generation was a gas engine vehicle and the second generation was a hybrid, it's safe to assume that there will be a successor with an all-electric powertrain. 
So, while we look forward to its arrival, it's certain the Legavella will keep NSX in the spotlight. Now, don't forget to let us know in the comments your thoughts about the Legavello and what modifications you found the most impressive. Plus, if you would like to know more about awesome supercars, subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.